A rare chronic blood cancer is often overlooked. 40 to 60 percent of untreated patients may develop blood clots during the first 10 years after diagnosis. Hear one patient's story of finding the right treatment approach for him. Polycythemia vera, or PV, is a rare chronic blood cancer that's often overlooked. For PV patients like Gary, the first signs of PV can be mistaken for other ailments. I've been an avid hiker um, all my life. When I was hiking, I would get this burning in my toes that I assumed was a part of hiking. Um, and maybe my shoes didn't fit right. Maybe I just needed to massage them. But the symptoms became worse, leading Gary to consult a number of specialists. We had a bone biopsy done, and it confirmed that I had uh, polycythemia vera. Polycythemia vera, or PV for short, is a chronic blood cancer that causes the bone marrow to produce too many mature blood cells. And these are especially red blood cells, but also white blood cells and platelets. And this leads to the blood flowing through the blood vessels to be too thick, similar to a car engine with old motor oil. Because of the thickening of the blood, untreated patients may develop blood clots. And there are also other symptoms that uh, patients may experience, including fatigue, itching, especially with a hot bath or shower, burning or tingling in the fingers and toes, concentration problems that people often refer to as brain fog, or feeling full after just a few bites of food. After his diagnosis, Gary began traditional treatment for PV. At that point, I started taking baby aspirin, 81 milligrams a day, um, as well as doing therapeutic phlebotomy twice a month. I would feel better after phlebotomy, um, but after a year it wasn't working. When phlebotomy doesn't work in patients like Gary, there are other medications that doctors can turn to. And those preferred front, front line medications who need more than just phlebotomy um, are a chemotherapy called hydroxyurea, or the injection under the skin called Ropeg Interferon Alpha, which is also known as Besremi. And the big difference between these two treatments is while they both reduce the blood cell counts, only Besremi targets the source of polycythemia vera in the bone marrow. Gary's doctor recommended Besremi. So I started that in the spring of 2022. By September of 2022, my blood levels were normal, the blood counts were normal. I'm afraid of needles. This wasn't with training, this was very, very easy. To find out more about Bezremi, go to bezremi.com. And Dr. Reeves says there are some great sites to learn more about PV. A great source is the MPN Research Foundation.org and also Le Leukemia Lymphoma Society, which is lls.org. I'm David Wiley for Coast to Coast.